Dr. Lamb, it's been a year and a half since I started working for you, and as you know, I, I view this as a huge blessing in my life, and it's blessed me to work for a man like you, to work with people like the staff that you put together, to work with your mother, to see an amazing woman who raised an incredible son is inspiring to me to have that um, affirmation that you can raise boys, because I have two boys, as you know, that grow into incredible men. And I want to thank you for this trip. Um, I'm a reflective kind of person, and while I have loved my time here with everyone, I'm going to reflect on it, and it's, become, it's going to become more and more meaningful to me as time goes on. And I want to thank you for that. And one of the things that I admire about you is I have not seen a man run a business with in such integrity, such love and passion, like you, other than my own father. And it's very touching to me, and just to be a part of that means so much to me. So thank you, and um, I don't want to go home. <laughs> I want to thank uh, Dr. Lam and Mrs. Lam for the immense generosity inviting us all of us to New York. Thank you very much for all the t of your the time that you put on uh, Dr. Lam organizing this fabulous trip. You, I came to know New York in a very different way, and I'm just so blessed for that. I also want to thank you because you let me be part of a group of women that all of them are so interesting. And uh, I want to thank you because I know I am incorporated to this wonderful family. I am not alone anymore in Plano, and I have all these relatives with me. And I'm sorry I couldn't pronounce Hudson. <laughs> and I just said Houston and B way. I adore you all and everybody. Ready. This has been so amazing, so wonderful, so fun, and I'm so proud to be part of this team. Mrs. Carroll treated us like her daughters, and I saw this weekend how we all treated each other as sisters and took care of each other. And on my first night, everyone was uh, accommodating. I forgot my cleanser, my favorite. And at midnight, they're finding, they took it as their mission to find me a drugstore so I could get my cleanser. I don't know. I'm about to cry. And that was just so sweet. And when I had to go to the bathroom again, not even pregnant, they took the time to make that their mission. <laughs> Take me to the bathroom. <laughs> but it was just that everybody, we, we changed groups. We switched people. It didn't matter who we were with. We all worked together and took care of each other, even when we were lost. And I just say thank you so much. It was so wonderful. And I love you guys. <laughs> Dr. and Mrs. Lamb, I just cannot express enough gratefulness to you. It's not just your unmeasurable generosity, but also the joy that you showed by giving us this generous trip, vacation, uh, group, family group um, experience that will last a lifetime. You have created a wonderful memory, but the joy that you exhibited by giving this, making this possible to us, was an incredible gift on top of everything else. Everything about this trip was full of wonderful surprises. I couldn't have imagined anymore. I couldn't have asked for anymore. Everything I've even subconsciously dreamt of, you made come true on this trip. Thank you so much for everything. The mini marathon around New York was awesome. Uh, with all my different hiking partners, I had different partners on different days, different hours of the days. It was great with each and every one of them. And one thing that stuck out to me was um, the liberty I felt that everything, everything we did, and especially the liberty we had the first night we were here, Friday night. I haven't experienced this in a couple of decades. Walking around downtown late at night and had energy with people from all around the world, great festivities, having fun. Everybody is pleasant. Everybody loves to be there. Where downtown becomes your living room, and you really live. You live in the city you are in. It's not just a city. It's your living room. You live. You, you feel global. I have missed that feeling for decades, and you made it come true, and I am so grateful. I am so grateful for everything to both of you, Dr. and Mrs. Lamb. It's, it's just been the most marvelous experience, and I thank you most of all for all the liberating 
emotional experiences and everything I've had on this trip. And God bless you abundantly and beyond, beyond and above everything from all my heart. Okay, I'm going to start by saying I kind of wrote a big novel. Go for it. Go just go. Four pages. Anyway, personally, what New York did for me made me realize that, you know, the world is a much bigger place. Um, you know, the world doesn't center around me, and that's very hard sometimes to keep that in mind. Very hard to, to not be selfish. Um, I've seen the highs of New York. I saw the lows of New York. Um, ground zero. Huge impact on me. Um, I even took the time to text message my husband and tell him how uh, overwhelming it was. Anyway, that was for me personally. As a group, you realize exactly, you know, that the people you care about that can't tell you every single day that they do care about you, they love you, and being together in a group brought everybody close, so much closer together um, as a family. True love was demonstrated, um, and we have the best team to work for. We have a sisterhood, we had sacrifices, um, well, sisterhood and brotherhood, because Dr. Williams in there too, so that kind of thing. But you belong, you feel like you belong. Um, as far as the lambs go, Dr. Lamb, Mrs. Lamb, um, I would never have experiences that you have given me through this year that I've been here. Um, you know, many eye-opening experiences, many things that never would have occurred in my life had I not had the, the pleasure of working with and meeting such great people, such indescribable people, you can't say. Um, I've got married, many cherished memories already in the year I've been here. Not quite a year, but almost a year. Um, you know, in St. Patrick's meant a lot to me. The cathedral was beautiful. Everybody waited for us while we went and said our prayers and, um, you know, made, made, uh, made our sacrifice, bared our souls to the Lord. Um, my sacrifices that I have, people that helped me, Linda gave me a toiletries case, suitcase. She was always waiting for me, making sure I was with the group. Darla, she told me so many times how much I meant to her, how much I meant to the practice. Um, you know, she helped, she helped me in more ways than she knows. Beth, uh, she and I bonded. We're a lot more alike. She's standing right there. We're so much more alike than we realized we ever were, and we're so far apart we don't ever get that bonding time. So this three days was vital for that. Um, Connie let Lynn and I have the good beds, and she sacrificed and slept on the cot, even though we offered to let her have a good bed, and she's just phenomenal for that, because I know that cot could not have been near as comfortable as the good beds we had. Uh, Constance, Constance sat with me um, while I got my foot rub. She was concerned for my safety. Uh, she wanted me, didn't want me to be alone, and she knew it because St. Cathedral, St. Patrick's Cathedral, that that was something that she and I needed to do together. That was a good bond for us. Uh, Diane was showed instant love and instant care for me. The minute we got on the plane in DFW, she says, "Are you okay?" And many, many times throughout the trip, she asked me that. Um, Bossy showed me that being a pregnant woman in a big city is not easy, and she handled with finesse, never complained. She sacrificed her her um, feeling good, or her, her herself, to have a good time, make sure everybody else had a good time. And Mina listened to my spiritual story. She enjoyed my story about St. Patrick's Cathedral. Didn't make fun of me for crying at the at the you know at the overwhelming spirituality of it. Um, and Dr. Lamb, last and last but not least, I have to give you huge credit for putting up with ten, count them ten, women for three full days in New York. <laughs> and of course, Mrs. Lamb, it would never be possible without you giving birth to such a wonderful, such a talented, such a beautiful person as Dr. Lamb and Vina. And so I'm going to try to get through this whole thing. I said I was going to do it without crying, and I'm looking at that, and I'm laughing now, so that's good, because um, I'm going to cry now, so thank you. Dr. Lamb, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I thought after last year it would be very, very difficult to beat that trip, but this was awesome. Um, I enjoyed having um, the luxury of having some free time and yet doing a lot together. And I feel more like a family than ever. I know last year we all became very close, but I really, really felt the connection. And honestly, there was no um, no hesitation, no nervousness or anything, but I just felt so comfortable with everybody. And the dinners were fabulous. My favorite part was the cruise that we took last night. Gorgeous sunset. I have never seen the New York skyline from a boat, so I totally enjoyed that. And I just want to thank you so much. You're the best. The world's best boss. Thank you. 
Hi, Dr. Lem, Mrs. Lem. Thank you so much for the wonderful time together and for the wonderful trip. I had a wonderful time. And uh, let's see, Emina, she asked me what's my favorite part of the trip. And I was thinking whole night last night about that. I think the favorite thing from the trip is the, the monster from the Avenue Q. You know, the, the Broadway show? I think that's my favorite part. No, I'm just kidding, actually. The favorite part is actually I had a wonderful time with you guys, and uh, I just love spending time with you. And the favorite part of the trip is actually I had a chance to hang it out with you guys. Doesn't matter, you know, I'm pregnant. And, <laughs> and thank you so much one more time for everything. I want to thank personally everyone for taking such a good care of me. Everyone all the time asking me questions, how, how I'm doing. Uh, I feel very special and uh, I know I work with wonderful staff and everyone is just wonderful and just want to thank one more time everyone. Uh, and Dr. Graham, one more time, thank you so much, you're the best boss. I had a wonderful time. Thank you for me and Elizabeth. Thanks. Hi, Dr. Lamb. I just wanted to thank you so much for this great opportunity. It was a wonderful, wonderful retreat. We all enjoyed it. I would have to say that my favorite part was the tour around the city on the, um, was it a ferry? I guess it was a ferry. It was a beautiful experience to see the city from a different point of view. I've certainly never taken that particular tour and it was exquisite. It was nice to see other people uh, viewing it for the first time and just uh, the camaraderie and taking pictures with goofy things on our heads. That was lovely and I really enjoyed that quite a bit. So thank you for that opportunity. It was great. The one thing that I grew from in this experience is when I approached this um, this time here, I thought that this would just be a great get-together, just like our last retreat, but this presented a unique challenge. There was a group of uh, 11 people, and many of us had been to the city before, and then there were a group of people who had never been to the city before, and uh, with us, there were some unique challenges. We had people that had health challenges. We had people that had um, kind of newbie tourist challenges. Okay. And what I gleaned from this trip is there were so many people, there were 11 of us that were you know, coming to the city, and what was brought to the city is each 11 of us had different needs and desires that were completely unique, and with that was a unique challenge. We each had to learn to accommodate everyone's different requests, everyone's desires, and have patience, and have to just kind of try very hard to smile every day, and um, just make sure that their trip was special and you know I think the biggest thing that I learned was truly patience and uh, trying to make sure that I grinned and bared it some days but then also try to enjoy to uh, to see their smile when they saw something that perhaps I'd seen before but to see uh, the joy in their eyes when they experienced it how I experienced it the first time um, and also to slow my pace down a little bit when, you know, perhaps they were slowed down a bit. Um, but it was just a great opportunity to enjoy the city and uh, have a great time. And I think we all learn to travel as a group a bit better. And I think we'll learn to take that same learning experience back to our office and try to hope... Um, you know, to bring that back on a day-to-day -day, day -day learning experience back in the office and in the surgery center. So I think it was a good a good learning opportunity, actually. Okay. Dr. Lamb and Mrs. Lamb, I wanted to say thank you for this wonderful trip. Um, I enjoyed it in many, many ways. I saw it in New York before, but never experienced it through a team that is work-related, but actually more like friends and family feeling. We had a friends and family feeling to it, and it was an amazing experience. On a personal, the thing I'm going to remember the most is the play, the Avenue Q play, and 
bad ideas, idea bears, and I'm going to use that in a surgery room, in a surgery center, and that is going to constantly remind us of something we experienced together, and I thought that was the most valuable piece that I can take that in any instant during the work time I can pull that image and all of a sudden we're going to bond and remember how close and how fun and how light-hearted you were at that moment or this moment in New York. Um, what I learned about the team was that we at any given moment we felt as real team by being aware of each other. Whether someone stayed in a room, whether someone went to the restroom, whether someone needed to do something differently than the rest of the team, we always were aware of each other. So it is amazing knowledge that we gain of being aware of the big picture, which really relates to the work, knowing that someone needed to do something, slow down, someone else picked it up. or So it was this awareness of you being a leader, respecting your time, respecting each other's time, but also recognizing our own needs and respecting our own needs. So it is fascinating to experience such tremendous unconscious learning that happened throughout this two and a half days, this wonderful trip, and that even though we didn't have any organized exercises, I realized that every one of us learned something about each other, about team, and how to relate to team, and how to make team be a better unit, even though that you didn't direct this learning experience. So indirectly, you provided great opportunity for us to bond, to learn, to grow, to have fun, and you are very generous. I greatly appreciate what you have done for this team and I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Thank you.